Good morning friends. Welcome to Bone Doctor. I am Dr. Prashanjit Dotto. I am a full time orthopedic surgeon and a part time YouTuber. In this channel, I talk about orthopedics and health. If you like such topics, please do subscribe to my channel. In my previous video, I was talking about cervical spondylitis, its pathophysiology. That means, how does cervical spondylitis occur? In this video, I am going to talk about predispositions. That means, which people are more likely or more susceptible to have cervical spondylitis in their old age and what steps you can take to prevent it in your old age. The first point which I want to talk about is genetics. If you have your father or your mother or your grandparents or your uncle, aunt suffering from cervical spondylitis, there is a high chance that you will also in your old age suffer from such disease. There is not, not much which we can do to change our genetics, but you should be aware of this predisposition and should avoid the later points which I am going to discuss so that you will not develop cervical spondylitis in your old age. Coming to the second point that is smoking. Research have shown that nicotine or tobacco causes damage to the nerves and also degeneration of the joints and the disc. These things form an integral part of the cervical spine. So if your disc is damaged or nerves are damaged due to excessive smoking or intake of tobacco related products, there is a high chance that you may develop cervical spondylitis earlier than you would have in your old age. Coming to point number three, that is occupation. In this day of digital digitalization and a digital world, many people due to their professional needs have to sit in front of a computer for 10 to 12 hours a day. These people are prone to have more of cervical spondylitis. Many people due to the during their work have to work in an awkward position by putting their head down for a long period of time or to look at a screen for a long period of time. They are more predisposed to cervical spondylitis. Manual laborers who carry load on their head or have to carry heavy load for long distances on their head are also predisposed to cervical spondylitis. So if you work in such occupation, do regular exercise and keep a good health, maintain your ideal weight so that you may not develop cervical spondylitis in your old age. Coming to point number four, that is depression. In this fast moving world, many people feel left out and due to the current COVID situation, the incidence of depression and mental illness has increased many fold. There are many people who are suffering from depression and anxiety and thus they are damaging their body as a whole. Research have shown that those people who suffer from anxiety or depression or other mental illness have a high level of free radicals in their body. These free radicals causes huge amount of damage to the joints and the nerves. So people who are suffering from depression should get themselves treated as fast as possible because a lingering depression will cause increased amount of cervical spondylitis. And coming to the last point that is if you have an history of old trauma to the neck that means if you have suffered injury to the neck at a very early age then you may have a chance of developing cervical spondylitis in your 30s or 40s. If any person develops injury to the cervical spine that is to the vertebra, to the disc or to the facet joints or to the nerves, these people have a chance of developing early arthritis of these joints. Early arthritis 
can progress to cervical spondylitis and unbearable pain if you have an incidence of trauma at a young age. So such patients should take care of the spine, avoid smoking, avoid heavy work and do regular exercise so that they don't have to suffer from cervical spondylitis in the later stage. So these are the five points which you should keep in mind if you want to keep yourself free from cervical spondylitis at a later stage of your life. Hope you like the video. Please give a like if you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like to hear such contents in future. In my next videos, I would like to talk about stages of cervical spondylitis and its treatment. So tune into my channel and keep listening to my videos to know more about cervical spondylitis. Bye bye for now. Thank you.